Okay, so we've got some pretty big news from the JP side of the game that I wanted to quickly share with you guys today. So without further ado, let's just jump into the campaign, see what's going on, and find out why people have been so excited recently. Okay, so first things first, we've got a little promo here for the upcoming Dragon Ball Heroes collab to commemorate the 10th anniversary of Heroes. And every single year we get a new banner with some new units. And the theme for this year's celebration seems to be GT slash Super Saiyan Force. And there's been some leaks on Twitter too about potentially a new full power Super Saiyan 4 Broly and a Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. And while these would be units that come to, or cards that come to Heroes for their anniversary, since we're getting that Heroes and Dokkan collab banner, um, they could also become new units in Dokkan once the banner comes out sometime in the middle to end of November. So of course none of this stuff is official, it's just leaks and speculation at the moment, so I don't want to say too much more about it just in case it doesn't happen and people get excited for no reason. I mean regardless of what units we get, there will be a collab for sure. It is coming sometime in November, like I said closer to the middle to end of the month and once we get closer to that time, we'll be getting more information about you know, the actual collab, the events, and also the potential units. So stay tuned for all that information in a future video. But in the meantime, if you guys uh, are big fans of Heroes or know anything about it, let me know in the comments down below which characters and units you would like to see for this year's collab. Would you want a Super Saiyan 4 Broly? Do you think it's too soon for another Vegito since we just got one for the Worldwide Celebration. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we got another Vegito, a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito this time, of course, because Bandai knows that Vegito sells, right? So even though we're getting a lot of Vegitos, it doesn't matter as long as people keep paying for them, right? So uh, yeah, potentially Vegito, maybe you want a Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, so on and so forth. I mean, when it comes to heroes, the possibilities are kind of endless. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below about that. And now let's move on to some other stuff. Uh, we're starting here with some standard campaign things, login bonus, special missions, and also the return of the Hercules, um, what's it called again? Hercules heart pounding gifts, I think. Something like that. Either way, this is back and it's starting tonight or today and ends on the 19th of November. So about three weeks worth of uh, extra login bonuses, which is nice. Even if you only get one stone a day, that's still one more stone you would have gotten without this, right? And uh, after that, we have the Dokkan Festival banner for Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with the new Nova Shenron. And this banner is coming out, I think, in about 12 hours after this video drops. So for anybody that's planning to summon, I wish you the best of luck, uh, get your stones ready, get your money ready, maybe do whatever ritual you would normally do to get that luck going, and I hope everybody pulls uh, Gogeta within a fairly reasonable amount of stones, okay? From there, we have a new category banner, and it's for the Great Ape Power category. It does have Wrathful Broly, who's awesome, but as always, don't summon. Alright, these banners are just not worth it. It's a trap for your stones, so I would say stay away. Of course, the choice is ultimately up to you. And we have a Elder Kai banner, Dragonstone Sale, uh, the token event for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, a new story event for the new Great Ape Vegeta. Did I say Vegeta here? I feel like I always say Vegeta when I say Super Saiyan 4, when I'm, when I'm trying to say Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I'm not sure. But either way, token event for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and a story event for the Great Ape Vegeta. And we also have the return of all of the, I think all of the GT story events we've had in the game so far. And as you can see, they're all here. Now, I don't think Giru has come back since the fourth anniversary on JP. So that, that's pretty huge. And uh, yeah, bunch of GT events all coming back. So if you guys need to farm anything, then now's your chance. And we also have the Raid event, the Raid Extreme Z battle for Omega Shenron. Now, the medals you get here are actually for the uh, Int GT Goku. So if you guys missed out on him the first time around, then now's your opportunity to get him done. And we also have the Extreme Z battle event for Vegeta Jr. coming back too. 
and a new Infinite Dragon Ball history stage. I'm assuming it's going to be for, uh, you know, GT, and more specifically, probably Shadow Dragons. I can't read. I can't read this, but that's probably the most likely scenario. So new stage coming out. Uh, I believe in a couple hours. Is, wait, is it the same time as the Gogeta banner? Uh, if it's the same time, then I think it is. Same, okay, so if it's the same time, then it should be in about 12 hours from now. And what else do we have here? Um, oh, a new uh, battlefield coming out. And also, now this one's huge. This is the thing that a lot of people are very excited for. That is very overdue as well, because I think this should have come out during Saiyan Day in May. But regardless, it's finally here. Masked Saiyan. Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, obviously right now we don't have any details about what his EZA will look like, but it is coming out on the 5th, the same day as uh, the Prime Battle LR First Form Frieza Extreme Z Awakening. So a lot of big stuff happening on that day, Mass Saiyan finally getting the respect he deserves, and uh, even though we don't know what his details, like his leader skill, passive, all that stuff looks like, um, we do know that his stats are going to be very, very high, okay? So his attack, when maxed out, should be close to 18,000, which is absolutely insane. So I'm excited to see what this guy, this guy can do. And another exciting thing is that the Fizz Mira and the Tech Toa, who have not been available on banners for a very long time, I don't remember exactly when they removed them, but these two units right here, Toa and Mira, have not been in banners for over a year at the minimum, right? And now they're finally being brought back and they're also getting token awakenings along with the Int Demigra. Okay, so three units getting token awakenings. I think Demigra was actually available in banners um, up until like basically the entire time, but these two have not been back for a long time. So three token awakenings in addition to the Mask Saiyan Extreme Z Awakening. Um, and we also have the Revenge category banner. So Revenge is the boost category or the effective category for the Mass Saiyan Extreme Z battle. And uh, once again, don't summon if you can, can help it. And uh, we have a couple of Dokkan events that are going to be available every single day for the entire campaign. Mass Saiyan and also Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And a new uh, Explosive Chain battle. And this boss from what I've heard, now I can't read this once again, but from what I've heard, it's an Omega Shenron. Actually, my bad, it's Sin Shenron. So Explosive Chain Battle versus Sin Shenron coming out on November 10th. And finally, we have some Golden Weekend missions that are starting on the 21st, and these are just for some additional Dragonstones and Sleepy Kai's over the weekend. Okay, so that is everything that is covered for this campaign. A really um, big campaign overall, man. There's a lot of stuff happening. And uh, actually, let me see. Since these uh, weekend missions end on the 23rd, I think there's a good chance that the Dragon Ball Heroes campaign will start right after that. So on the 24th is most likely when we can see either details for the Heroes campaign or it's just going to start on that date. Okay, once again, nothing official, but stay tuned for more details in a future video. And that's it guys, that is the entire video, lots of stuff happening on JP. Of course, all this stuff is going to be coming to Global at some point in the future as well. We just gotta, you know, wait a bit and be patient. But uh, yeah, that's it guys, that is today's video, that's all the news from the JP side. Let me know in the comments down below, which one of these things are you the most excited for? Is it the Heroes collab, or the Extreme Z Awakening for Mass Saiyan? or Dokken Awakenings for Mira, Demigra, and Tor Tora, uh, Toa, <laughs> and um, man, there's just so much stuff happening on JP right now, I'm kind of jealous, not gonna lie, as a, as a global main, it's uh, kind of tough to see, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.